SAP sales and distribution, what would be the end-to-end -end cycle that we are going to try to do it. So let's first try to understand how the SD process looks like. If we go with the end-to-end -end SD process, how does it look like? From where it gets started? With VA11, you can create an inquiry. Inquiry has been given by customer to you that I want to buy this product. We'll be using PG11 product. Then this inquiry, you register it in the system. So whatever the inquiry came from a customer, that inquiry, we are getting it registered in our system with VA11, right? Then with this inquiry, we will, our response to this inquiry would be quotation. We are giving quotation, quotation we can create it with VA21. And we are sending back to the customer that this is our quotation. We would be able to supply this material in this particular price and in this particular date we are committing, we would be able to give this quotation. This quotation would be having some validity date that this price is valid only till the end of August or till the end of December 23. Or validation date would be there. Why validation date is important? Why do we need a validation date? Why date is important into the quotation? Because we are committing some price to the customer that at this price, we would be able to give. Customer should not come after two years that this quotation was given to me. And you said that you would be able to give in $10. After two years also, you give it in $10. In two years, my price can change from $10 to $15. Okay. So based on the specific discussion with the customer, based on our current structure, based on our current cost, we are committing that price. Maybe we are handling in the commodity materials where the commodity become double, our raw material price become double. So my $10 price in a year can become a $25 also. So what commitment we are giving that it, at this price we'll be able to give you that should be having a validity. That this quotation is only valid till this date. After this date, if you come, we are not uh, liable to provide you on the given prices. But within the quotation time frame, if you give us the order, if you give us the order, we would be able to supply you that material on the given price. So our commitment is for the required dates. Okay, is our commitment. If customer agrees, customer would be coming back with the purchase order. He would give us a purchase order. And with this reference to purchase order, we will be creating our sales order in the system. Sales order would be created in the system. Right? Sales order will be creating with the transaction code BA01. Once we get the sales order, then we'll be starting our sales. This process is called sales, not the sales. This process is called pre-sales. Inquiry, quotation, and maybe up to sales order, it is called pre-sales. Then after the sales order is created, a lot of activities need to happen on the sales order. We need to check whether there is any credit blocks are there. Credit is available for the customer. We need to check any delivery block or billing blocks are there which need to be removed. We need to check any incomplete data is there. That incompletion of the data need to be rectified. We need to check the availability of the material and make sure the material availability is there. We need to make sure that we confirm the material availability and we send the acknowledgement. We send the acknowledgement back to the customer that we would be able to supply this particular material on this particular date. Okay, so all these checking part happen step by step after the sales order creation with the transaction code VA02 in general, or we can also use some Fury applications to rectify issues in our sales order, right? And this part is called making sure your sales order is getting punched, making sure that all this activity happens is called sales. And from sales, once the sales order is properly available, till the end is called distribution. That's why the SD module is called SD, sales and distribution. Because the sales part and the distribution part, both has been covered in this module. We can book the sales and we can also do the distribution. Pre-sales part is not that strong. Okay, pre-sales, we have only the inquiry and quotation part. There can be further processes can also be there into the pre-sales part, okay? There can be a lot of processes can be there. There can be a marketing process can be there. You can create your campaign. Then you can generate your lead. And there are the tools, which is a lead management tool. So there, before the inquiry comes, before that also, you need to do a lot of marketing, a lot of promotions, a lot of... Uh, lead magnets, you need to put a lot of leads, you need to get generated and that low leads 
get it into the inquiries and then inquiries get it into the quotations, right? So that all part is not available in S4 HANA. So S4 HANA is a very basic tool for the pre-sales. So the pre-sales part is not available. The pre-sales part are more available in your tools called C4C, Cloud for Customer. Or there is some pre-sales features, the lead management features has been added recently in last version. We have some lead management features has been added in S4 HANA, but that is just a flavor of the lead management, the flavor of pre-sales. Even before inquiry quotation, how we would be managing the leads, how we would be creating the leads, and how we will push that the leads get converted into the orders. That is coming a new feature. It has come uh, two years ago, but still it is into the maturity phase. Uh, maybe this, this time in the excellence, I would be covering that, the lead management, how the lead management would be involved, how the lead management would be involved. So this is a pre-sales, this is a sales. From which point the distribution start? What would be the first transaction for the distribution? What would be the first transaction code for the distribution? After the all the checking, VL01N, what is VL01N? VL01N is creating a delivery. So we want to make sure it is delivered to the customer. This process, apart from the distribution, is also called the business language is fulfillment. It's also called fulfillment part. So we'll be creating a delivery. And from that delivery, the warehouse, it will be given to the warehouse team. Boss, now you work on this delivery to make it the dispatch has been happened. From delivery, we would be doing a picking activities. If required, packing activities. And after doing picking, packing, we would be doing a goods issue. And after doing a goods issue, we'll be generating an invoice document. So this comes under the fulfillment that from delivery till the invoice generation will be coming as a part of your uh, uh, fulfillment or at, at the part of distribution, it would be covered. After the invoice, there would be a final uh, last transactions would be there. That would be receiving a payment. You would be getting a payment received. This payment would be done by the finance team. Once customer pays, payment will be entering a payment transaction in our system. That would be done by the finance team. So this would be the end-to-end -end SD process, including pre-sales, including sales, including distribution and invoicing and the payment part, right? So we will try to execute this process in the system. Okay, we'll try to execute this process in the system and I will give you assignment also. You need to also create that end-to-end uh, -end process uh, in the system and you need to also create a documentation for it. Mm -hmm.